People develop opinions based off, again, a TikTok they saw. Yeah. And, and again, I, I'll say it a million times probably, education is key, right? If you yeah. look at, if you actually take the time, and I know it's it's, it's grueling and it's a task to, to actually do the research and yeah. be, get educated on, on what their policies are and so on and so forth, you're going to see that one, they're not that different. Yeah. Uh, two, in, in what they are different, again, pros and cons. You, yeah. I, I, can, I can never, when I actually, when I've actually sat down and looked deep into it, I can, I, I get to a point where I'm like, I don't know which one's better. Yeah. I just know that there's some stuff over here that I really want to see happen. And there's some stuff over here that I really want to see happen. I can't have my cake and eat it. I got to pick one and hope that they actually do some of the stuff that they say they're going to do. Because even when you pick a side, yeah. the chance of them getting it done are, are very I slim. Like the next, I felt almost like the next time I, for myself too, was like, Instead of all of us voting on separate sides of each other, why don't we all just stand and say we vote for ourselves <laughs> anymore? You know, like yeah. we vote for our people. That's it. Because regardless of which side it's going to go on, they're going in directions that we might not all like for ourselves as uh, as humans on this planet, should, should I say. Yeah. So, And that's going to be a big difference from people just wanting to do this keyboard warrior stuff and actually educating themselves yeah. to understand where we're headed and what we're doing yeah. and like you said both of them are so similar it's ridiculous yes it's it's yes. literally it's well, almost like wordings different yeah, so, i mean if you look at the history of uh, of you know what what democrats and republicans you know stand for and what they used to stand for you know 30 years ago yeah. it, it's completely flip-flop right yep. i mean freedom of speech right <laughs> it, democrats are all about freedom of speech that was like one of the biggest pillars of the Republican Party, you know, yeah. 30, 35 years ago. That that was that. That's what they, you know. So I don't know. It's, it's just funny, when we could spend a whole bunch of hours yeah, on right. that. But uh, but yeah, it's it, at the end of the day, you know, it, it becomes a. Uh, it's almost like watching wrestling. You know, you pick a you pick who you think is a villain and who you think is the the good guy, and then once you put that's that's what internet does, right? Yeah. Once you put an opinion out there, once you tweet about it, you never want to change change your opinion because somebody's going to call you out on it. Yeah, like, and then what's worse now too is that's what I've noticed too is people who regardless whether like what side you were on if you started to change your mind about where you were at they're afraid to even say it. Yeah. They're afraid to even speak about it and yeah. nobody wants to talk about politics because everybody gets heated but they're not heated about the right subjects. Yes. They're not heated about what's happening. They're heated because of the person or the, the narrative behind whatever just happened. Correct. And that's what our media is telling, showing right. us too. Our 